Hi everyone, it's Carissa at Small and Scrappy um, with a process video for Pear Tree Cut Files. Um, I'm starting this in real time because I've already done um, quite a lot of work on the cut file. Um, so it's the stitch paw prints from the July 2022 release. Um, so I've already cut them and uh, stitched around them all in black. Um, now I've done it just in plain black because I'm going to use it to document this photo of my dog on his first dogs at polling stations um, photo opportunity. Um, if you vote in the UK or use the internet, especially Twitter at all, I'm sure you're aware of the dogs at polling stations trend. Um, but the paw prints with the um, the sort of hearts in the middle, they kind of reminded me of a ballot card with the check boxes. Um, so I thought I'd combine them um, like that. Um, and I've also done some very light inking of paw prints with um, a pear tree stencil on the background. Um, so I'm thinking this will come back, come together very quickly. Um, and I'm going to use the Pebbles Kid at Heart collection um, for the for the rest of it. Um, so I will pop some music on and um, thank you for watching. few paper layers behind my photo from the collection um, and now what I'm going in and doing is adding a few um, I guess subtitles although not really um, where I'm going with the um, I'm sort of carrying on with the election theme of the photo um, I decided to pick a few sort of policies that my dog might have voted for um, and I'm just using the tiny alpha tiles uh, thickers there to spell some of those out um, and I stick to one collection for each I I just prefer that look I'm not generally a fan of multicolored titles it, it depends on the layout of course um, so I'm just taking some time to decide on the colors for each um, the top one there I've started to put to spell out more treats and then realized I didn't have the right letters in that color. Um, so I've switched to the lilac it looks like. 
and that's going on another line but yeah you get the idea um so I think in the end I go I put in no baths more walkies more treats longer walkies more treats um and cuddles um so all all the stuff that a dog would typically vote for um although I can tell you he definitely gets baths um he had quite an urgent one today as I'm voicing this so um and now I'm uh starting on my main title um I've gone with some plain black thickers again just to keep with the sort of bold theme I guess um although I don't end up using these particular ones um I think uh these are a Heidi swap set um and I um, have already pulled out the ones that I'm going to use behind there which are from Maggie Holmes Sunny Days so they've been in my stash for quite a while at this point um, but I'm yeah just spelling out the title which is Puppies First Vote and you probably saw just that I, I misspelt it at first I spelt it IE but of course it's a Y apostrophe S <laughs> so um, that has been corrected um, and it's at this point that I looks like I'm questioning using the, using the Maggie Holmes ones so yes I pulled those out um, I think I felt that the plain black ones just didn't quite pop enough against the background um, although do, I do end up making another change to that which you'll see in a minute You'll also notice that I've been using a combination of um, pack clear packaging and my T-square ruler just to line up those um, larger letters and make sure they look right um, where I want to put them. Um, it's something that quite, I've seen quite a few uh, crafty, scrappy YouTubers uh, doing and I, I do tend to do it most of the time. Um, just so I can be sure I want to put things in that place. Um, so this is the um, other edition that I was talking about just now. I've just put in a small section of vellum just to soften that background ever so slightly and give a bit more separation with the title. Um, it was getting a little bit lost with all the um, with the black and white sort of monotone um, and I've just secured it with the tiniest bit of tape for now behind the well a couple of bits of tape behind the photo um, just so it doesn't move around obviously that tape can't be seen um, um, and then once I've lined up all the letters how I want them I do put a few dots of glue I believe behind those um, uh, just again so it's secure but they can't be seen behind what's on top of the vellum um, it's always tricky of course with vellum and acetate and um, see-through things to um, get them secured down without the adhesive being visible so yeah there I am just adding those few dots of glue um, in a few strategic places um, just to make sure that that's not going to be flapping around. I say strategic places, it looks like I put it on every letter, um, almost, but um, yeah, just enough to make sure it's secure there. And, uh, oh yep, just adding the apostrophe. Now I'm coming in to do my embellishment proper and of course I have to have some of the Pear Tree Pieces paw prints. I've got the cork ones there. Um, I think this was my first packet and I've, I've had a, a new one since and I've also got the wooden ones. I can't get enough of them, I love them. Um, and I'm also bringing in the cardstock stickers from the uh, Pebbles collection that I'm using. Um, which brings in a little bit more colour and makes the layout look a bit more um, fun where it's, where it's quite a fun collection obviously it's, it's kid at heart um, and there's lots of sort of smiley creatures and, and characters and things 
Um, so I've just added a few of those in. Obviously had to include the little dog there, even though it's a sausage dog and not a corgi. Um, a few florals and a birdie and a bright happy sun. And a bee, I think I've got there as well. Um, and just that arrow, um, which I play around with the positioning of a little bit, but I think that just brings a little something to the area around the photo as well. Yeah, trimmed off the tail and then tucked at the end behind the photo mats there. Um, I try to add that second, um, excuse me, I try to add that second dog there with the flowers, but I couldn't quite find a place for it to work, so I... Um, go ahead and stick down what I've got for now. Seeing if I can add another paw print. And yeah, I think I do in the end. But I've not decided yet. Oh, maybe I don't. That's strange. I think it, it looked like it was going to form quite a nice visual triangle, but maybe I decided against it in the moment. Um, and I know this isn't the final arrangement of the stickers. I do add another one and I've just um, tucked in one of the bits that I've trimmed off the uh, floral cluster there. Um, I love getting a bit more out of my stickers doing things like that. Uh, so yes, I add the rainbow, swap the rainbow and the bird around and add that rainbow on the top line for longer walkies. And then we are done. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've put a process video up and this one is from the archives at this point. It's a few months old, um, but I'm trying to work through the videos I've got on my hard drive, um, battling through a few technology pro problems. So thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye.